again, continuing with this section where God controls those who are in authority, Pilate said, don't you know I have the power to crucify you? Wow, the arrogance of Pilate. Are we, I, I fear that too many professing Christians are little Pilates running around saying to Jesus, don't you know I have the power to go against your power, to go against your hand, to thwart your will? A lot of people believe that. They believe that uh, when the Jews rejected Jesus, that they forced God into a secondary plan. No, 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 no. <laughs> He was born to be king, and he is king now. He never failed. He still has his covenant people, and his covenant people are saved by his grace. No, there was no plan B. God doesn't have plan Bs, okay? God is sovereign. He does whatever he wants. So G Pilate says, don't you know I have power to crucify you? Jesus said in John 19 verse 11, you could have no power at all against me unless it had been given you from above. Well, listen to this in Deuteronomy chapter 2. It says, as the children of Esau in verse 29, which dwell in Seir, and the Moabites, which dwell in Ar, did unto me, until I shall pass over Jordan into the land which the Lord our God gives us. But Sihon... King of Heshbon would not let us pass by him. Well, that dirty rascal, why not? For the Lord your God hardened his spirit and made his heart obstinate that he might deliver him into your hand, as it appears this day. Did you see that? God hardened his spirit and made his heart obstinate. God, why would you do that? And God simply responds, Because I wanted to. I'm God. I'm sovereign. Atheists hate this. Evangelicals hate this. So many evangelicals hate this doctrine. But truly, any doctrine that goes against the sovereignty of God is not really evangelical. The good news is that the sovereign God of heaven and earth who controls everything sent his only begotten son to die on the cross and forgive our sins. The end justifies the means for God. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have begun to give Sihon and his land before thee. Begin to possess that you may inherit the land. Then Sihon came out against us and he and all his people to fight at Jahaz, and the Lord our God delivered him before us, and we smote him and his sons and all his people. That's what God said. I'm going to harden his heart, harden his spirit, and make his heart obstinate. Wow. Judges 9 verse 23. How about this one? Then the Lord God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem, and the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with, the, with Abimelech. God sent an evil spirit? Wow. Why, God? Because the Lord does whatsoever he is pleased in heaven and in earth and in all the deep places. Psalm 115 and Psalm 135 and Job 23. Whatever the Lord desires that his soul does. He did it because he has a plan. It's a part of his plan. Don't question his plan. Simply accept it and say, Lord, I have a tough time with it, but help me to believe it. 2 Samuel 17, verse 14, And Absalom and all the men of Israel said, The counsel of Hushai, the archite, is better than the counsel of Ahithophel. For the Lord had appointed to defeat the good counsel of Ahithophel to the intent that he might bring evil upon Absalom. The end justifies the means for God. He can do whatever he wants. He defeated Ahithophel's good counsel. The Lord appointed to defeat it. What are you going to say against that? You who mock this kind of God. You who mock the sovereign God of the Bible and say, my God would never do such a thing. Yes, you're right. Your God would never do such a thing. And my previous God would never do such a thing because my previous God was a false God. It was a small God. It was a powerless God. 
It was a hopeless God. It was a God that I fashioned after my own mind. And if you don't believe this God, you're still believing a God you fashioned after your own mind. God is in control of good and evil. Isaiah 54 verse 16, God says, Behold, I have created the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work. I have created the spoiler to destroy. That's what God says. How about this? God controls, sovereignly creates and controls all things and events for his own purpose and pleasure. All things God controls, not just some. Everything, good as well as evil. For by him all things are created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Colossians 1, 16 and 17. Whether visible, invisible, whether thrones or dominions, principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things, and in him all things consist. How about this one? Revelation 4.11 You are worthy, O Lord, to receive honor, glory, and power, for you have created all things, and by your will they exist and are created. All things exist. Obama isn't by chance. Hitler wasn't by chance. God sovereignly planned everything in Hitler's life. Everything. And he sovereignly planned everything in your life, whether you agree with it or not. God is God. What about afflictions? This is where it hurts. All of us have had tragedies happen. All of us have experienced very tragic things. Some of us the death of loved ones. Some of us sickness. But God controls it. Hosea 6.1, come, let us return to the Lord, for he has torn us, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. Exodus 4 verse 11, so the Lord said to him, who has made man's mouth, or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Hey, if a person was born deaf, that's the way God created him or her person was born blind, if a person was born dumb with cerebral palsy, if a person gets cancer, that is the Lord's doing. The man was born blind in John chapter 9 so that God would be glorified. They asked, who sinned, this man or his parents? Jesus said, neither. This man was born blind so that God would be glorified. Psalm 90 verse 2 before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth of the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man to destruction and then say, return, children of men. Man, God just keeps knocking us back. He wants us to be humble before him and acknowledge, okay, 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 you're sovereign. Okay, God, you're sovereign. You're in control. You're all powerful. I believe it. The Bible says, you turn man to destruction and then say, return, O children of men. Job 5, 17 and 18. Behold, happy is the man whom God corrects. Therefore do not despise the chastening of the Almighty, for he bruises and he binds us up. He wounds, but his hands make whole. Next we'll study God, sovereignty, Oh,